Hi, so you might remember from the previous video, uh, we made this from our kit. It's a floating pen, the kit's available for sale in the shop, and have a look at the previous video. Now, a floating pen is actually an awesome sound toy, but it's a little more serious than that, in that it's also a point bearing. So the magnets are holding all the weight, and this ball and the ballpoint pen is acting as the bearing. So you can do some really cool things with that for low energy, low power machines, and things like electrostatic motors. So of course the first thing I did was build this electrostatic motor. And the rest of the video is going to be about building that. But really, all I, it's extraordinarily simple. All I have to do is turn on the power. And um, we could connect it to a battery. It'll rock a little bit just as it begins to get going. And then as everything evens up, it'll spin like crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Later on, I'll give you a close-up of that. But now let's get on and make this motor. Okay, it's stunningly easy to make one of these. What you need is one of these things. This is our, our floating pen kit. Once you've got one of those, you've basically got everything you need pretty much. The first thing to do is cut a plug of sponge. Now I cut this from a dishwash sponge and I just cut out the circle with the hole in the middle. The sponge actually just pushes onto the pen and floating pen. Somewhere it's gonna be round about the middle. And then I got a strip of paper, the same depth of that sponge, 2.5 centimetres, wrapped it round, cut it out, and had myself a strip of paper, 7 centimetres by 2.4 centimetres. And I'm going to stick the aluminium onto that. Now I'm using this stuff, which is aluminium tape. You can get that from the builders merchants, and you use a tiny, tiny bit of it, because all we really want are four strips a centimetre wide by 2.4 centimetres long. We cut them out, peel them off, and stick them onto your bit of paper that you've just cut out. I've marked the paper so that there's a strip every centimetre with just less as 0.75 of a centimetre gap in between each strip and it gives me four evenly spaced strips. There we go, four strips on my bit of paper. That wraps around there to make the rotor. Let me do that, a little bit of side tape on the end. And there you go, that's your rotor all made and ready to go. I did say this was stunningly easy. The next thing is this thing. I just bought this from eBay. It's a high voltage generator. And it generates, I think, this one at 40 kilovolts from a uh, 4 to 6 amp input, uh, 4 to 6 volt input. And we need to put one in about in the centre, fix it down with a bit of solid air. And the other one I just leave free floating. Because when you put that there, one of these wires has to point in that direction and the other one in the opposite direction, because it's actually a corona motor. So it spills off the high voltage charge onto these, and it's the corona that makes it go. You just bend those up. You don't have to be that accurate or too near as it happens. Bend that down. So it's roughly in the vicinity. And that is all there is to it. Now let's give it a go. There it is all set up. Uh, I'm going to turn on the power. I'll connect the battery at 6 volts. This will transform it into high voltage, and the motor will begin to spin. So it kind of rocks until it gets going, <laughs> and it settles down. Okay, I'm going to change camera position now, so you can actually have a look at this spin.
So there you go, an electrostatic motor from our floating pen kit. You can find the kit on the shop, I'll put a link in the description, and I hope that was of interest to you, and thank you very much for watching.